Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm just going to show you how I make my beetroot meatballs. Basically, I'll have this whenever I am low in iron. So if, if my anemia is playing up, then this is something that I would normally have. It's quick and it's easy to make. It is delicious. It's filled with vitamins and also iron and minerals and nutrients for your body. If you are on a gluten-free diet and you're vegan or you're vegetarian, this is perfect for you. Because as you all know that if you do not consume meat, then you can't get your iron from your meat. So normally you'd have to intake iron from your green leafy vegetables and nuts, fruits. So and today I'm just going to show you what I'm going to be having for my dinner, which helps to boost my iron level. And I hope you try this dish as well because it's really, really nice and delicious. So stay tuned and I'll take you over and show you what I'm going to be making. Here I've got a quarter of a cup of extra virgin olive oil, three quarter cups of gluten-free oats, and then I've got um, a teaspoon of jerk paste, a um, teaspoon of garlic paste, and also a teaspoon of green seasoning. Also I've got a smoked paprika, which I'm gonna be using probably about half of a teaspoon, and um, ground spice as well half of a teaspoon as well we also have got two cups of chopped beetroot and i'm going to be using my gluten-free vegetable stock cube so i'm going to use one of that and when i do so i don't add salt to this okay so also i am going to use chickpeas as well in there so let's see how we get on so we're going to pop everything into the food processor. Okay, so first of all, we're just going to add the chopped beetroot. And we're just going to blend this separately. Okay, and that's the consistency that we've got. Now we're just going to add the oil. So I'm adding oats because i haven't got gluten-free oats flour so i'm just adding that just like that instead of the oat flour also going to add the stock cube which i'm just going to break up as well whilst i'm adding it so just going to break it up as well i'm going to add half a teaspoon of smoked paprika and the same amount for my allspice as well then we're gonna add our other seasoning um, I, as I said before in most of my videos if you haven't got the garlic paste just use garlic so two cloves of garlic would do nicely you don't have to add anything more than that i'm going to add some spring onions i'm going to get some from the garden and some thyme as well so i'm going to have that in a little while from now i'm going to add about half a teaspoon of black pepper in two spring onions so I'm just going to chop them in So going to add roughly about half a teaspoon of scotch bonnet pepper just roughly chopped without the seeds and now I'm just going to add one cup of chickpeas and we're just gonna blend everything oh I forgot to have the thyme so I've got here five sprigs of thyme and I'm just going to add those as well. I'm just going to break them apart. So 
smells good. Okay, we're just gonna blend on okay. water. So now I've got the consistency that I actually want, and what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna put this in the fridge to sit for the night, and then we are going to make some delicious meatballs tomorrow. Hello everyone. Okay, so this morning now, what we're gonna do is just grease our baking tray or tin. So if I'm doing that, so just what I've done is just pour little extra virgin olive oil in here. And we're just gonna grease this and make our meatballs. You can either jerk them or you can also bake them. So this morning I am just going to bake them. So this is here. Put like this and we're just gonna make the balls now. So I'm using an ice cream scoop. I'm not making them too big. I've finished all of them what I'm gonna do is just pop them inside the oven and I'm putting them on gas mark 4 which is 180 degrees Celsius and 350 degrees Fahrenheit so I'm gonna pop them in there and just gonna leave them for 25 minutes so these are the meatballs I had them in the oven for roughly about 30 minutes This is my delicious meatballs, beetroot meatballs. And um, so basically this is a dish I would normally have if I am running low on iron. So if my anemia is playing up, then this would be one of the meals I'd have. So this is basically rich in iron and vitamin C. I've got here, I did some tomato gravy that is underneath the beetroot meatballs I did not put them in gravy because I didn't want them to be I wanted them to be a little bit dry so hence the reason why I do that if you were going to try this recipe you could actually make the gravy and put them in the gravy and then steam them down in the gravy as well that would be brilliant too but you don't have to so in this case I didn't do that I just baked them and I seasoned them with jerk seasoning you can use any type of seasons you've got in your kitchen and um, yes so I did that and mine is a little bit spicy because of the type of seasoning that I used to make them you can do try these you can also barbecue them as well so they have that little smoky flavor so yeah so that will be brilliant for them as well that will go hand in hand with the jerk seasoning so what I've done is I have served it with um, cauliflower rice and some rye plantain which is rich in vitamin c and also some sweet peppers which are rich in vitamin c as well the tomato gravy obviously you do know that tomatoes are rich in vitamin c so that coupled with the um, beetroot which is rich in iron goes perfectly this is a meal for somebody who is on a vegan diet or 
on a vegetarian diet and you want to up your iron intake so this would be perfect for you thank you very much for watching if you do like this video please go ahead and give it a like if you've got a gluten intolerance wheat allergy celiac disease or you simply gluten free by choice please subscribe to my channel for more gluten free recipes and other information about gluten thank you bye Okay guys, okay guys, so I've decided that I'm going to add some green leafy vegetables. So I've just done that, which is also rich in iron as well. So my meal is now completed because it looked a little bit bare because there wasn't any greens in there. So I'm just going to tuck in.